Brian. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. Technically this song is all bar chords, but I've simplified it so that we're not playing any bar chords here. I'm going to go over how to play the chords, and then we'll go look at the chord progression for the verse and the chorus. So we have a A flat, we have a D flat, a B flat, and an E flat. And instead of doing the bar chords, we're just going to be doing these power five chords so that beginners can play this song as well. So if you already know how to play those chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead a little bit here. Um, but for now, I'll be teaching you how to play those chords. So for our A flat, we're going to have our index finger on the 4th fret of the low E string, middle fingers on the 5th fret of the G, ring fingers on the 6th fret of the A, pinkies on the 6th fret of the D. And make sure not to play those two strings, just play the top four strings. For your D flat, your index is on the 1st um, fret of the, or not the 1st fret, sorry, the 4th fret of the A string. Ring fingers on the 6th fret of the D, pinkies on the 6th fret of the G, and we're going to just play those three strings. Um, for our B flat, you're going to slide that shape down to the 1st fret, so your index is on the 1st fret of the A. Ring finger and pinky are on the 3rd frets of the D and the G strings. And then, same thing for the E flat, you just slide it up to the 6th fret, so you, these two fingers are on the 8th fret, and your index is on the 6th fret. So those are the four chords we're going to be mainly working with here. We're going to start off super simple. I'm not going to teach you the picking right away. Um, I'm just going to strum and show you how to do it. But we're going to start on our A flat for the verse. So we're going to strum twice on our A flat. One, two. We're going to pick our G and move our index to the third fret of the G. So one, two. Then we're going to go to our D flat, one, two, and you're gonna pick your D twice and drop your middle finger to the fifth fret, so sixth fret to the fifth fret, and then you're back to that A. One, two, D flat, two, sixth fret, fifth fret, A flat. So pick your G string on this one. 3rd fret, D flat, 4th fret, or 6th fret, 4th string to your 5th fret. And you can play that throughout the entire verse, that's going to be perfect. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, you can try finger picking. So what I'm doing is I'm picking the E and the G simultaneously. And then I'm rotating between the D and the G strings. That's a little bit more advanced topic. I want to keep this tutorial simple. So if you have more questions about the finger picking, we can talk about that later. Um, so that's the verse. You can get by with just doing your strum, 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 pick, pick. And then we're going to jump into the chorus, and the chorus sounds like this. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So on that A flat again, one, two, three, four, you're jumping up to your E flat, five chord, back to your D flat, and back to your A flat. Then we're going to go to this B flat minor, two, three, four, to our D flat, two, three, four, back to our A flat, and that brings you back to the verse. So the chorus all together, I'm going to go through that once here for you.
Okay, so that's the chorus, pretty straightforward. Um, the chorus is played again, and uh, the progression that's in the chorus is played throughout the outro, and there's a bridge in there as well. And it's pretty much the same progression, but instead of doing this once, this progression where they go on the B flat to your D flat, once, they do that twice. And instead of jumping back to the verse, they go into the chorus. So one, two, three, four, to your E flat, back to your D flat, and your A. Basically, if you're playing those chords, you're going to sound okay. So, I went through that all pretty quickly. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.